I'm Sally, one of the PD sisters who works in home dialysis, and I'm going to demonstrate to you today how to do a solo dialysis exchange. First, you need to gather your supplies. A dialysis bag, you should always check the expiry date, this is August 2021, the strength of the fluid and the volume. You need your shield, a cap, two blue clamps, alcohol hand rub, and a surface cleaner. Before you wash your hands, you need to free up your line, allowing for easy access once your hands are clean. Once you've gathered your supplies, you then need to wash your hands. Always wet your hands first before applying soap. watches we request you remove but rings you can always wash move and wash around then you do the backs of your knuckles the thumb separately and also the space in between and rub the fingertips into the palm of the opposite hand you then repeat the process two more times Use your paper towels to dry your hands. And you can use the dirty paper towel to turn your cap off and then discard. Once you've washed your hands, you then need to clean your surface. With your alcohol wipe, take a handful Start from one side and go across, come down and go back. So you're not cleaning across the area you've already cleaned and then discard. Next, put your supplies onto your clean surface. Your cap, your shield, two blue clamps, alcohol, hand gel, and remove the dialysis bag from its outer pouch placing the clean pouch onto your surface with the lines uppermost. Although for demonstration purposes I am talking over my exposed PD line, it is recommended that during this procedure you do not talk. Once you have set up your surface, you need to free up your bag lines by pulling them apart and then recoil them onto the bag. Next, you open your shield packet, fold up the bottom part, there's an arrow, gently pull apart and open on your clean surface. If the shield drops from the silver foil onto your clean surface, you need to throw it away and get another shield. And do not touch the brown spongy part. After opening your shield, alcohol your hands. Next, you pick up your bag lines and remove the coloured tag, keeping hold of the exposed lines. And then apply your shield. Once the shield is on, replace the bag onto the lines onto the bag. Oh, they can take it down, they? Next, you need to pick up your line and carefully remove the cap, making sure you do not touch the dark blue end. You then pick up your dialysis lines and carefully connect by screwing the two together. Once connected, you split your bag placing the drain bag on the floor with the window side up and the full bag of fluid you hang on your hook. Then you open your twist clamp to 
to allow the fluid inside of you to drain out into the bag on the floor. You need to allow 20 minutes to drain the fluid out of you. Once you have finished draining, you then turn your twist tank off, closing the line into you. With one of your blue clamps, you clamp the line down to the bag on the floor. Next, you need to snap this green seal, which will free up this fluid by just applying pressure with your finger and thumb. Before allowing the fluid to go into you, we need to get rid of the air in this line, so we do what we call a flush. Release the blue clamp for 15 seconds and allow the fluid to drain into the bag on the floor. Once the flush has been completed, close the blue clamp. You can either time the flush or count. Now this line is primed, you can open the twist clamp and allow the fluid to drain into you. It takes approximately 10 to 50 minutes for the fluid to run in. Once this bag is empty, you need to turn off your twist clamp. With your second blue clamp, you clamp the line as close to the green seal as there is always some fluid left in this line. Then you need to open your cap packet. Again, if the cap rolls onto your clean surface, throw it away and get another cap. Once you've opened the packet, alcohol your hand. And then safely disconnect. Hold your line with one hand, with your other hand, untwist, discard the lines and pick up your new cap and carefully apply without touching the dark blue end. Then tuck your line away and then clean up and tidy away all your rubbish. The drained out dialysis fluid can be emptied down your toilet and flushed away.